and Martha invited him over and he accepted. I was shocked. I mean, the prophet from Nazareth coming to our house. I tried to help her get everything ready, but when he walked through the door, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to be near him. I didn't need to do anything. There was no room next to him because there was John and there was Peter, but it didn't matter because there was room at his feet. So I just sat there and I could sit there for hours. Martha got so angry. Jesus, she isn't helping me. But I wanted to, I just couldn't move. When he spoke, he spoke in a way that I've never heard a man speak before or ever heard a man speak since. When my brother died, I was overcome with grief. I just cried and cried for days. As I was weeping, Martha came in and said, my Lord wants to see me. So I ran to meet him. I wasn't angry with him. I just knew that if he had been there, my brother would not have died. And I fell and I wept. This king, this noble man, he wept with me. And it was a feeling that I can never describe. It was like he understood. It's something that I can't even really explain. But later, Simon decides to throw this big party and everybody was there. People would stop and stare at Lazarus and he'd go, boom, scare the kids. It was incredible. I just watched Jesus. The way people always asked him for things. I just wanted to give him something. So I thought, what do you give a king? The most expensive thing I had was this oil. So here I am this party and I approach Jesus and kneel at his feet and I take out the most expensive thing that I had and I poured it on him and I began to cry. I wept with oil and tears and I dried them with my hair and Judas began to scold me about how wasteful I was. Jesus rebuked him and told him that I was preparing him and I, I could never comprehend what that meant. But I was blessed to know that I gave him something, the best of what I had, and he accepted it. He was my friend. I never knew that I would be remembered, but he knew. Jesus knew.